DS or short consumer electronics show is the world's largest and most influential technology show. Held annually in Las Vegas, CS showcases the latest innovations, cutting edge gadgets, and breakthrough technologies that are going to shape the future. As the tech world converges on CES to witness the latest enhancements, new HomeKit devices and services have been announced. So let's dive into all that is connected homes and discover the marvels unveiled at CES 2024 Apple Home. In this video, I'm going to cover announcements from Akara, Roborock, Lockley, Nanoleaf, Homey Pro, Ecovac, and Utech. So keep watching to find out more. So starting with Nanoleaf is announcing three new color changing addressable smart lights designed to work with matter. First up is a multicolor light strip, which is designed to work indoors, then a multicolor outdoor string lights, and finally a smart multicolor permanent outdoor lights. These latest addition add to the essential matter line, and this is the first time that really Nanoleaf have ventured into the outdoor space with lighting products. So they're bringing their colors and warm ambience to your outdoor experience. These new smart lights work seamlessly with Apple Home via Matter, so you can control them right within the Apple Home app to have basic control over them. However, I do prefer using Nanoleaf products using the Nanoleaf app, so you can create groups of products, establish schedules, and use various different uh, gradient effects. Nanoleaf will also be launching preset lighting scenes like they do with other products, work directly with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth into Matter. The new Nanoleaf Essential Matter devices are scheduled to be released in spring 2024. At this time, Nanoleaf have not confirmed any pricing. Now, the next one from Nanoleaf is not exactly a CES 2024 announcement. In fact, it was announced at CES 2023 and won eight best of CS awards for product design and innovation. It's the Nanoleaf Skylight and they finally made this available for pre-order at the start of CES. Now they did promise this originally in 2023 but for whatever reason it's taken this time to come to market. But the Skylight features a flush mounted modular square design similar to their existing at modular designs. Each square emits 1,400 lumens of light and boasts a lifespan of about 25,000 hours, which is pretty much standard for LED lighting. It's equipped with Nanoleaf's comprehensive suite of smart features and includes the River Music visualizer, schedules, magic scenes, and color options, and more. Installation, however, is a little bit more tricky compared to Nanoleaf's other products. An installation starts by hardwiring one square to your electricity supply, so you put this in the place of an existing light fitting. Then you can expand up to 99 additional squares throughout your ceiling. Well, the Skylight connects via Wi-Fi and is integrated with Apple Home. And this gives you basic controls over colors and on all our functions and automations. But again, just like any other Nanoleaf product, to get the most out of them, in my opinion, use the Nanoleaf app. And this allows you just colors and scenes like gentle rain and sun shower that they've launched for this product. Now, Nanali Skylight is open for pre-orders starting this week and is priced at £229. And that's just for three squares. Any additional squares cost you £69.99 for a square pack. However, they do multiple different packs, all the way up to 12 packs. And uh, Nanali said the products will start shipping in late January 2024. Next up is Akara, and they're releasing a number of new devices this year. First up is the M3 Hub. This builds on the predecessor, the Akara M2, and it retains features such as Zigbee Hub and the Infrared Blaster, while adding thread and matter. This, according to Akara, is a revolutionary leap forward as it is versatile enough to act as a matter controller and a thread border router. With additional features like dual band Wi-Fi and power over ethernet, it offers a lot more flexibility than other hubs that are on the market. The M3 hub goes beyond supporting the car accessories and infrared compatible devices. It is enabled to allow third-party matter devices into a car at home and should expose compatible devices to Apple Home using this. This will provide users with a unified and comprehensive smart hub similar to the Homey Pro. Moreover, the M3 exposes connected IR devices to Matter, empowering users to manage and automate their infrared ACs and TVs using the Cara Home. Now, Cara has said the M3 is to be released globally by the end of Q2 2024, and they've not confirmed any pricing. The Cara Border Router Plug, and this is I think one of the first devices of this kind. So it's a smart plug that can act as a thread border router. It also has dual band Wi-Fi. It also can create a thread network because it's a border router. 
and it is also energy conscious which allows real-time historical data on household usage with electrical devices that are plugged into this. Moreover, the Fred Border router boosts the uh, capability to detect on and off status of connected appliances, therefore allowing it to trigger Akara automations accordingly. This new Thread Border router smart plug is expected to ship in the second half of 2024, and Akara, again, have not confirmed any pricing. Next up is the Akara U300 smart lock. It is introduced with Matter and Thread compatibility, so it'll work across various smart home platforms, including Apple Home. With an impressive battery life, according to Akara, it can last up to eight months. It's crafted for both indoor and outdoor use to replace its conventional US levers or knobs on single board doors. It's an excellent fit for side entries, garage access, home offices, basements, and storage spaces, offering multiple access modes like fingerprint, pin controls, NFC, and integration with voice assistants like Siri on the iPhone. Homeowners can gain control, the ability to grant temporary access to guests, and real-time notifications about entries and exits. Because the U300 supports Matter, users will be able to add the smart lock to Apple Home. This means users will be able to control the smart lock from the Home app, add it to automations, and use Siri. The new U300 smart lock is expected to ship around the second half of 2024. And a theme here is they have not released any pricing, but will do nearer the time. The final one from Akara, and while not officially unveiled at CES 24, however, Akara are exhibiting this device, the U200, and they've confirmed that they're working on integrating HomeKey. The Akara U200 is a retrofit smart lock designed for European styles locks, similar to the likes of Yale, TD, and Nuki. The U200 stands out as the possible first home key smart lock supporting Euro style door lock systems. This will certainly be welcome news for people that living in Europe that have been asking for a home key smart lock for some time now. The lock seamlessly operates with existing cylinders. You don't need to drill the door or make any adjustments and will support matter over thread, meaning the U200 guarantees compatibility across a broad spectrum of smart home systems and devices, including Apple Home. You also can utilize a Cara NFC card or a specified enabled NFC device. Additional secure access options encompass auto unlock, fingerprints, pin codes, and mobile apps. So you've got a wide range of different ways to unlock your door. Package includes a keypad, which sticks on the outside of the door, which is used for unlocking through code input, fingerprints, or NFC card. And when Akara enable OKI support, this is where HomeKey will work. Now, last year, Akara did say that they would be launching a campaign on Kickstarter. However, that has not happened yet. But Akara have confirmed to me that they will be making this available in the coming months. They didn't specify a timeline other than coming months. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, regarding pricing, they've only entered at it aiming for being more competitive price point than established competition. And based on Akara's reputation for doing this, they're certainly going to come to the market pretty aggressive, in my opinion. Next up is Roborock, and it's unveiled its latest range of robot vacuums, the S8 Max V Ultra and the S8 Max Ultra, with the former equipped with Matter and the Apple Home support. Now, both models feature a flexi arm design for the side brush, leveraging a aromatic arm and enhanced spinning mod to adapt and navigate tight spaces ensuring up to 99% coverage in corners, according to Roborock. But the real jewel in the crown, the one that we should be interested in in HomeKit users, is the S8 Max V Ultra. This features a voice assistant for operating the vacuum without additional smart controls, 10,000 power output suction, which is one of the most powerful on the market. It's also compatible with Matter and eventually Apple Home. And a new camera allows for AR-driven obstacle avoidance with LADAR and video calling capabilities. You also can have a dock option, which is the RoboDock Ultra that is compatible with both offers. And it is a station that not only empties a dustbin, but also handles water replenishment, dispenses detergent, or washes a mop and employees heated air to dry it post cleaning. This also has an advanced integrated dirt sensor, which apparently can intelligently signal when 
that rewashing or mopping becomes necessarily. If you do purchase the Max 8 Ultra, you can get seamless compatibility with Apple OMAP. This means your new Robo Vacuum will enable functionality in the OMAP, so user will be able to apparently remote start and stop, along with activating various cleaning modes, including support for wet mopping. Now, these are not cheap. The Max V Ultra is set to retail for $1,799. Yeah, that's a lot of money for a vacuum cleaner but you can get the Max Ultra with the price at $1,500, which is a little bit cheaper, but you don't get the matter support and some of the other features. It's expected to be released around about April time, and that more information will be on their website. Next up is Lockly, and they've announced a new Matter Smart Lock called the Visage with integrated Wi-Fi. This marks Lockly's debut to integrate with Apple Home and HomeKey as well. Although Apple Home will possibly be the primary choice for HomeKit users, there are numerous ways to unlock the door using this lock. You have the choice of using your fingerprints with the sensor capable of storing up to 99 different prints, which is more than enough for the average home, of course. You can also use RFI cards, simply use as its programmable auto locking feature. Moreover, you can transfer profiles with your Lockly smart locks using air transfer, which is a feature which is available within their app. But using Apple Home, you can control the device directly from the Home app and including it with automations. Furthermore, the biggest feature is OMKey support. So you can unlock the smart lock using the iPhone or Apple Watch by simply waving the device close to the lock. And now luckily I've said the Visage will be available this summer priced at $349 and will come in a variety of finishes. Now, before we continue with this video, I want to introduce you to HomeKit Authority. If you're watching this video for the first time of ours, this is an online community dedicated to everything HomeKit and Smart Home. We cover the latest news about Apple's Smart Home platform, honest and detailed reviews, and tutorials that help you get the most out of HomeKit. So while you're here, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on this channel. And if you like what you see, then stick around and be part of this community. So hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new content lands. You can also follow us on social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, along with Thread for more content and follow HomeKit. Thank you for the support. Next up is Homey Pro, which started shipping last year and they've announced at CES, they're gonna be rolling out the latest software update, which is now available for free. And this activates the built-in Thread radio by enabling the promised thread border router, all while seamlessly integrating with HomeKit. Prior to this software update, the Omni Pro could function with matter over thread devices, albeit it required a separate border router within the network. However, with the latest free update, the Omni Pro serves as a thread controller and a router, eliminating the need for dedicated border router. Moreover, Omni Pro manages all operations locally. It doesn't depend on an internet connection to function. This is a beta release uh, at the moment, and is accessible for devices operating on software version 10.3 and above. The Homey Pro is priced at £399, which is not the most budget-friendly option, but it does offer exceptional functionality and seamlessly integrates with Apple Home and HomeKit. I've been using one for the last couple of months and started to transition some of my Zigbee-based devices over to this smart hub and had no particular issue. I'm gonna start moving some of my thread devices and other devices to see how it gets on. Next up is Ecovax, and last year they launched the Depot X2 Omni, and now it's launching a upgraded version, the X2 Combo. So this combines the exceptional features of the Omni along with an additional cordless vacuum attachment. Not only that, the X2 Combi will support Matter and of course, exposed to Apple Home. So the original version, the X2 Omni Robot Vacuum boasts an impressive suction power of 8,000 and a 15 millimeter lifting capacity equipped with dual sensing LiDAR technology and eye obstacle avoidance. Additionally, the docking station enters the dustbin while also managing the robots mop by draining, drying, and refilling its water tank. However, the new version, the X2 Combi, is compatible with Matter. This means the Combi robot vacuum cleaner will integrate with Apple OMAP allowing users to remotely initiate an all-cleaning as well as access various cleaning modes, including support for wet mopping. Matter is not the only new feature, as the name implies. Ecovax has included a cordless Andel vacuum as part of the cleaning station. This comes complete with attachments, surfaces, and upholstery. 
it can be extended to reach ceilings or other hard to reach places and just like the x2 the handheld vacuum fits into the station for automatic charging and emptying and now ecovax has said that this will be priced at $1,599 and it will be available in the US to start ship this in the first quarter of 2024. Next up is Utec and this comes from from my view a relatively unknown smart home manufacturer and they've announced a new smart lock that works with HomeKit and HomeKey and it's called the Bolt NFC. This works seamlessly with Apple HomeKit and HomeKey. This means you can unlock your door using Siri the Apple Home app or with the HomeKey compatible iPhone or Apple Watch by simply tapping the front of the lock. It also features a keyhole if in an emergency for whatever reason it's lost power you still need access to your home you can still use a key. It's also equipped with a keypad built into lock itself which allows you to use passcodes that are controlled via the app I suspect via Apple Home as well. It utilizes Wi-Fi to connect so it doesn't need an additional hub however no word if the Bolt NFC will support matter. This lock is aimed squarely at the North American market where deadbolts are commonly used. Fitting or Placing this type of lock is not that complex, so it'll be a pretty much an easy installation. And additionally, it can be powered by eight AA batteries. The, the UTEC Bolt NFC lock will be priced at $249, and they said that it'll be available in the next couple of months. Well, that's everything that I found from CES 2024 for HomeKit. There's some really good devices that are coming to the market and some really interesting HomeKey and Apple Lock products. Now, like anything, I would advise caution on buying something or getting your hopes up, as we've seen with products that have been announced before at CS, they've even not arrived or some of the functionalities has not been there particularly devices that are promised matter later down the line, I would wait if you are dependent on matter and including Apple Home before buying a product, wait for that feature to be fully confirmed and shipping with the product. However, hopefully, yeah, you've liked this video and if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you like the content and you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also check out our social media channels at Follow Home Kit. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.